What's up, y'all? We are back with another Soul Hunters video. I haven't done this in a while. Like a video video, not a live stream video. Um, we are with Valen. I think that's how you say it. Valen or Valen? I think it's Valen. It sounds more appropriate. Um, so I have no idea what this hero, like, is even about. Like, I have no idea what he does. Um, I know Angel Gaming, as y'all know him of, or Odie in my streams. He said he kind of looks like the Iron Hoof, and I'm not going to lie. He actually does look like the Iron Hoof, kind of, from Hero's Charge. Oh, he's kind of laggy. Don't break my game now. You hear me? You hear me? All right. Let's go upgrade him a little bit. Thank goodness I got a lot of potions from um all of this crap. Like, because I've been just grinding out raiding and all of that. And I got, haven't upgraded a lot of heroes, as y'all can tell. But it's alright, because we got a lot of potions now. We can use all these potions for this man. See how he performs. And I think I'm just going to use all of these. I don't care. It's just another hero we can get upgraded. <laughs> it really don't bother me. Alright. Okay, so he is level 57. If I need to upgrade him more, then we'll do the fast way of upgrading him. But right now, I just wanted to do that because I just wanted to use those potions. Now, he's level 57, so it'll be right here. Nice. Uh, we'll go to his skills and all that after. Let me just... <clears throat> Whoa, why did it automatically give me that? That was weird. Huh? Is it glitched? I think it's glitched. Okay, maybe it's glitched. Because, um, I don't think it should be that, the same gear. You feel me? Alright. That's actually going to piss me off. So, can I go over here? Then back over here. Thank you. Um, nothing too important right now. I got to watch what gear I do give him. Because some gear may be really important right now. Um, so he is purple. That's really where we just need him. So... If I could just get him all of this gear, that would be nice. And we can keep him there and equipped. Uh, that is level 58. So I guess he'll be worth getting level 58. And 58. Upgrade. It's only taking me seven potions. That ain't too much. Equipped. Nice. Now let me just level up all of these to level 6. So that one looks like the damage and all is going up. The damage and success rate again. Um, the damage resistance. All right. And physical armor. That, I'm not really too fond of physical armor. All right. Um, interpret charge. I think that's how you say it. Interpret charge. Um, Valen. Is that, I think that's how you say it. Um, charges ahead and collides with the enemy with the highest um, remaining health. That attack, uh, the attack cannot be dodged. And with life, wait, with lift the target um, enemy in the area. will lift the target enemy in the area when the target enemy lands. Um, other nearby enemies' um, units will take physical damage and stunned. So in use his ult, it's going to charge at the enemy. Wait, it's going to collide with the enemy with the highest remaining health. So, it's going to charge at the one with the most health, and then it's going to lift them in the air, and it cannot be dodged, it said, which that's pretty that's pretty good, actually. And um, it's going to throw them down, and wherever it lands will be stunned or physical damage or both, uh, something like that. Stopping hoofs. Um, stomps on the ground, dealing magic damage. I uh, mean, physical damage to nearby enemies, knocking them back and stunning. Um, that's kind of like the Forest Guardian and Hero's Charge. It stomps on the ground. So, if that's what I'm thinking, it's actually going to do some pretty good damage if that's upgraded. Just saying. The shield provides himself with um, and his allies. Yeah, that's at the beginning. Same thing as the um, Iron Hoof, and I'm not fond of it because it goes away like that. So... We'll see massive size not only makes him a formidable um, attacker, it only shields him his teammates um, from harm. Okay, so wait. A massive size not only it shields them, gives a physical armor boost to himself and the allies with the lowest physical armor. Okay, let's go test out this puppy. I want to see how he's going to perform. Um... But he's kind of like the one in Hero's Charge. If it is, then 
He's not going to do too well. I'm just going to put that out there. Let me do this one. That's too low. We need to get some. Here we go. This is what I'm talking about. All right. Let's get rid of all of that. And we're looking for 40, 50, 58, actually. Let's try him out. And he should be a tank. Yep. Okay. He's going to put that shield. It's going to do 2,500 damage. Yes. Yeah, it's really not going to do too much. Oh my gosh. Alright, let's try his ult. Boom. Wow, that's actually a pretty nice ult. I'm not going to lie. Alright, so he don't have enough HP to fight these people real quick. Um, He is a frontliner, right? Yes, he is a frontliner. Thought so. Alright, let's try him again. See what he's working with. I mean, the shield's only going to really come in handy whenever um, you're in the arena. Oh, it looks like it goes away. So, now yeah, the shield will not come in handy. Never mind. Okay, so that's not the stomping that I pictured, like the Forest Guardian. So, I think this dude is kind of just like the Iron Hoof in Hero's Charge. If y'all know that hero, um... Yeah, I'm going to be honest. I'm not very happy with this dude. That's the best attack right there, his ult. That's actually, that's going to be a really good attack, especially when you're trying to kill the backline heroes. So I'm thinking right now, say if you have like a tourist and you have this dude, he's going to be very, very useful whenever your tourist gets off the ult and say if Neely is about to die or Sylphie's about to die and this dude gets off his ult, it's going to boost that hero to the back line and it's probably going to kill them. So that's going to be a really nice ability. Um, the only problem with that, say if you use it in an arena, the tourist, that's not going to happen because you're not going to get off his ult that fast in the arena. And if you do, that's going to be insane. Um... But other than that, I mean, I don't know how useful this dude's going to be other than the the thing I just said, um, the example with him with um, the Taurus. Other than that, um, his picture looks pretty cool. Yeah, he just got the basic old things. Um, I'm not that impressed with him. Uh, hopefully, though, he is a good hero because um, we need some more free-to-play heroes. Um, not pay to win heroes. We need free to um, play heroes that are good. And if this dude's good, then that'd be pretty nice. So thank y'all for watching. Hopefully y'all enjoyed. I'll catch y'all back in the next um, Soul Hunters video or stream, which will hopefully be tomorrow. Peace out, everyone, and I'll catch you next time. Adios.